Hello folks! Over the next couple of minutes, I want to take you on a tour of MetroEEG.Coplex.com. It is an open source project that I've built that essentially allows connecting Windows Phone 8 to your brain through a mini EEG mobile headset. Using Windows Phone 8's new Bluetooth developer stack, we can now access a range of Bluetooth devices, including the mobile MindWave headset. So to get started, we can see the setup instructions, and we can see that we first have to make sure that we have the MindWave mobile headset on our heads, which I do right now. Next, we have to make sure that the phone's Bluetooth is on and that both devices are paired together. So we can go to the Bluetooth settings for the phone, Turn, it, turn Bluetooth on and make sure both devices are, are paired and connected. Once we've done that, we can go and try and connect using the Metro EEG SDK to the MindWave mobile headset. Clicking connect here starts the connection process between the phone and the headset. And finally, now that we're connected with reliable data, we can go back and see what that data is. So the raw data doesn't look really impressive, but it's, it looks somewhat interesting. We could see multiple brain wave types. We could see alpha waves, beta waves, gamma waves, delta waves, and theta waves. And these are all in different frequency ranges and have specific mental states and conditions associated with them. We can also see that there's essence attention and essence meditation down in the bottom, and we'll talk more about these in a minute. So going back, and maybe seeing something slightly more interesting in visual, we could see the data from the brainwave frequencies plotted out on a graph. And you could see as I'm talking and looking at it and trying to understand what it means, there are spikes in that graph associated with that. And if I were to read a newspaper or try to do some math in my head, those brainwaves will spike or decrease accordingly. So. Going back here, we could see something else. We could see that we can plot out the two essences the mobile headset is reporting back on either awareness and meditation. And these are proprietary algorithms that are used by Mindset to compute how alert or how relaxed I am right now. So if I close my eyes and take a couple of deep breaths, you can see that meditation would spike. <sighs> I could see that as I was doing that, only with two breaths, meditation has spiked to over 70. And now that I'm talking again, it's back down. Anything over 70 is considered above or elevated state. So going back here again, we could see that there's one last icon that we haven't clicked on yet, which is the drag and drop icon. And just in case you just want to get started with the SDK and you're not interested in anything too fancy, and you don't necessarily want to learn a lot about the SDK, I've built four custom controls that you can just drag and drop into your app and these are the connect disconnect buttons, the um, connection state buttons, and the essence attention and meditation progress bars. And these are just drag and drop on a form and they can do everything that's needed to get, to get you started using the Metro EEG SDK. So as you can see, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here and Windows Phone 8 can now read your brain 